I'm Ringer, and this is my prospecting journal. Come on, let's go prospecting. prospecting general. Today we're doing the cleanup of the cons from the Lake Superior trip. Got my uh, micro sluice set up behind me with recirculating system down in my basement and we're going to uh, see exactly what kind of gold that we got out of the three five gallon buckets that uh, I was able to get run. It was like I mentioned in the video, it was tough running material up there. It took me five hours to run three five-gallon pails. So I got the cleanups right here, and uh, we'll run it across my uh, cleanup sluice and see what we get. So here are the cons that I got from uh, my three five-gallon pails of material. Uh, it's actually surprised there was that much in there. What was really, really surprising is... I ran this stuff through uh, kitchen strainer class classification and got very little in the of uh, anything that was uh, plus kitchen strainer size. So most of this was uh, pure beach sand. So, so the plan is I'll run it across here. I got my micro dream mat in there. Got a masking pail hanging off the end here to catch the cons. And we're going to run this through two or three times, throw it in the pan, and see what we get. So I did run in jet dry in the water, and I did brush out these uh, three mats so there's no uh, bubbles. Take a spoon and we'll just run a spoonful at a time and see what we get. So I am running this, uh, Clean out system at 69%. You got a speed controller over there. Everything seems to be dancing around looking pretty good. So we'll run the rest of this bucket through. And, uh, Do a cleanup, run the cons through again, do a cleanup, and see what we can get. Hey, right, got the cons ran through the first time. Let's uh, do a cleanup here and see what we got. They got this header set up. Drilled a couple holes through the top here. All you gotta do is pull a little metal bar there and pull that right out of the way. Set it off to the side. I'm gonna pull off the indicator mat here. I don't know how helpful that was or not. That could have been actually interfering a little bit with how the material gets run. This way it's set up. We'll pull this out. Got a little gold pan here with the water inject jar in it. Clean that out. 
take a look. slide out the mat. Without the uh, indicator mat for the second run, let's keep that tucked underneath. All right, so I'm going to leave the uh, indicator mat off and we're on this a second time and do another clean up. Alright, I got the material ran through my cleanup sluice twice. Got it dumped. My black pan here will just uh, pan this out a little bit, pull it back, and see what we can find. There are a lot of the black sands on here. But we're just going to do this real quick. See what we get and then uh, I'm panning this into another catch pan. So I don't know how well that's getting picked up in the video. Move the lighting around a little bit. We will run this across the miller table just to uh, give it a good final cleanup and uh, this pan's really heavy for a little bit of material that's in there. A lot of black sand. So anyways, I'll finish panning this out and then uh, be right back. So the black sand was really, really thick. So I decided I was going to run it around the miller table. Let that uh, take care of the black sand for me and separate it. This is going to take me a little bit longer. You can see it's not flowing. We're cleaning out the fastest, but uh, I think it'll be the most efficient way to do it. So if I start seeing anything, I'll bring you back and show you some more. You can see a couple of tiny pieces right there. Another one there. Another one right there. Another one there. So we do have gold, but gosh darn, this is uh, very tiny stuff. I got my camera zoomed in as, at max and barely shows up on the camera. So we'll clean it up and see what else we can get. Try to show you a little bit more of the gold that we're getting. A piece there. Again, this camera is at its highest setting. Zoomed in piece there. A 
I can say I didn't get skunk, but gosh darn, these are some very, very small pieces. Okay, here's the last of it getting processed on the Miller table. There's a piece there in the center. And there. Real tiny pieces. You like said this is zoomed in as far as all of it, as far as it'll go. There's a nice little piece there. But yeah, I'll get the rest of this cleaned up and uh, we'll do a snuffer dump and stuff that I snuffed up into the bottle and I'll take the stuff that I pushed over into the vials and see what we all got. Now here you have it folks. Lake Superior Gold. I got it in and zoomed in as far as I can. It looks like about 20 pieces there. There's a really lot of tiny stuff, just uh, but a lot of tiny stuff right down in here that I can see, but not really picking it up too well on the camera. So, like Superior Gold, three five gallon buckets, five hours a time yeah not sure if the trip was worth it or not but i did not get skunked so there we have it all right folks there you have it that's the lake superior beach sand cleanup that i promised you i want to give a shout out to prospector phil and freedom prospecting while i was out and about playing on the lake and getting very little gold he was in the streams around here called Shangri-La Creek, his uh, honey hole. Got uh, 1.7 grams in a week of prospecting. Good job, Phil and Al. Keep up good work. Hope to hook up with you guys shortly and uh, get out together again. So if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Hit the little bell icon to receive notifications on future videos. Till next time, folks, God bless.